Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. Hope you guys are having a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know? Somebody could be overthinking some stuff. And this could be somebody that somebody's not in communication with. Whoever this person is, they feel like time is of the essence. And it definitely could have something to do with them feeling like that they uh, need to communicate with somebody. This could be a toxic masculine energy. So somebody needs to be aware because there is a toxic max masculine energy um, that feels like the time is of the essence. This is somebody that somebody's not in communication with. Whoever this person is, they definitely are overthinking. Um, this toxic masculine actually could be going through some type of activation. So whoever this toxic masculine energy is, they possibly could be, um, you know, like transitioning to, you know, become, you know, a divine masculine or, you know, uh, basically transitioning to basically, yeah, re get the toxic removed off of their name is also what I'm picking up with this activation station. Yeah, somebody definitely could have activated some stuff within whoever this uh, masculine energy is. But somebody definitely needs to be aware because whoever this person is, they came out as a toxic masculine. We have July, so something definitely is taking place this month. Uh, somebody, yeah, could uh, be entering into activation station this month. Or somebody has reactivated or activated or, you know, is, is getting, you know, like some type of fresh activation this could be you know whoever this message is for but yeah somebody needs to use caution mm -hmm. yeah because whoever this person is they're toxic wow i feel like whoever this is they're possibly also uh trying to use caution because i feel like that um there's a reason why somebody's not um communicating with this person we have ready or not. So something is about to take place regardless if somebody is ready or if they're not ready. So somebody needs to get ready because whoever this toxic masculine energy is, they possibly could be uh, looking for somebody, possibly going to pull up on somebody, possibly going to reach out to somebody or, or try, um, you know. I feel like if, if this, whoever this is, is toxic masculine, they can't communicate with somebody. If they know where somebody lives, they're definitely going to pop up. But whoever this person is, they could be on alcohol and drugs when they do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody needs to be aware of whoever this person is. Because I feel like that whoever this person is, they possibly could trigger somebody. You know what I'm saying? To kind of regress a little bit. It's a reason why, yeah, somebody is not in communication with this person. Who that's Holy Spirit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, whoever this is, they are in denial. So if people, you know, have told this person that, you know, they have some type of issues when it comes to alcohol and drugs, yeah, they're in denial about them having a problem. Uh, that could be a reason why somebody's not in communication with this person. Maybe they get belligerent, you know, when they're under alcohol and drugs. Or, yeah, maybe they just, you know, make irrational decisions, you know, when they're under the influence. But whoever this person is, they're in denial. I also feel like that they're in denial about some relationship or about some a friendship or something like that. I feel like, yeah, somebody's not in communication with this person because, yeah, they're done with this person. Or they don't want to talk to this person. Or they don't want to deal with this person. Yeah, whoever this is, they're toxic. They're toxic, toxic as fluck. 
But this also this person is also in denial that they're toxic. So whoever this person is, they're walking around like that they don't have any problems at all. And I feel like that they definitely have a lot of problems. So I feel like that this person is possibly, yeah, trying to bring their problems to uh, somebody's doorstep. But I'm also picking up too that whoever this person is, they, yeah, they possibly are going to try to trigger somebody. You know what I mean? So, you know, if the past version of somebody was, you know, drinking alcohol and doing drugs, yeah, this person is, is literally going to, uh, going to confront somebody as if the, as if they're the same version of them that this person remembers. And I feel like that's what's going to trigger somebody because I feel like, and, and I don't, I don't really, I'm not going to say that it's this person's fault, that they don't know that somebody isn't, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the past version of them, but whoever this is, they're toxic. So they don't really care if somebody's the past version of themselves or the new version. I feel like whoever this person is, they possibly remember, you know what I'm saying? The last time that somebody did communicate with them or the last time that they were in somebody's presence. And I feel like that they're possibly basing their confrontation, because I keep picking up confrontation energy or their pop-up energy off of the past version or the past, the past, the last time somebody talked to this person or the last time that, yes, yeah, this, uh, this person... Uh, saw somebody. Mm -hmm. There's something about some divorce papers. So whoever this person is, um, this could be somebody that somebody was married to. Or this, this person could have been married, you know what I mean? And, and maybe, you know, they're getting a divorce, trying to come towards a divine feminine and divine masculine. But whoever this is, they're running scared. So whoever this person is, either they're running scared because they done done some stupid stuff while under the influence. Or it's because they, yeah. Something is catching up to them. So it could be the past or it could just literally be, yeah, uh, what they've been doing. This could be, yeah, again, making irrational decisions under the influence. This could have been, yeah, being in denial, you know, being being in a cocky, arrogant um, mindset, a cocky, arrogant energy, and just, yeah, running amok, you know what I'm saying? Uh, causing chaos, happy and pandemonium in the society. So this person could be running scared from the law. So, yeah, that's why somebody needs to use caution. But this is definitely somebody that somebody hasn't been in communication with. I'm also picking up too that this person could be kind of, I wouldn't say running scared, but they could be scared about some type of no communication. Whoever this is, yeah, they, they definitely feel like the time is of the essence when it comes to possibly communicating with somebody. Ah, we have insurance. So this, something about an insurance policy. So I feel like, yeah, whoever this person is, they done done something stupid. And they possibly are running scared, fearing for their life. I don't know if this person has done something stupid as far as like an insurance policy. Or, you know, maybe they want to communicate with somebody about an insurance policy. Yeah, whoever this person is, they know that, yeah, a lot of people know that this person don't have no direction. A lot of people know that this person is lost. Wow. Whatever this person has done, they were, they were fueled by greed when they did it. And so whoever this person is, Somebody possibly have already did some type of cord cutting ceremony when it comes to this person. So this person is in denial about, yeah, being cut off. And this is a past person. But this person is also running scared, yeah, when it comes to their past or some stuff that they've done in the past. Wow. And it definitely could have something to do with the insurance policy.
Mm-mm. Yeah, I feel like they, that, that karma definitely could be knocking on this person's door. Or it's something about, yeah, this person running scared from karma or something like that. Yeah, somebody definitely needs to be aware because whoever this person is, they're an emotional manipulator. And they definitely could be trying to pressure a divine feminine and divine masculine to do something that they possibly don't want to do. It, it could be, yeah, pressure them to do some alcohol, to drink alcohol and drugs or, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, yeah, whoever this person is, they're going to come to a divine feminine and divine masculine, you know, like a divine feminine and divine masculine is going to be like, yeah, I don't drink, I don't do drugs anymore. And they're going to be like, yeah, you're just in denial. You know you really drink. You know you do drugs. Mm-mm. So, yeah, somebody definitely needs to use caution when it comes to this person. It's something about a viral post. So, this person could have uh, posted something that's going viral. Or this person was pressured to post something that could be going viral now. So, that could be another reason why this person is running scared. Mm -mm. This is too much already. Yeah, this is somebody that, yeah, somebody has already seen right through. Mm -hmm. But, yes, yeah, somebody definitely trusts, has been trusting their intuition when it comes to whoever this person is. Yeah, this person lives an unhealthy lifestyle. This person could wear glasses. Mm-hmm. But something about, yeah, this person's third eye is blocked or this person definitely could have been trying to block somebody else's third eye or this person. Yeah, they they don't think that somebody sees them, but somebody definitely sees right through them. So that could be another reason why this denial card is here. This person is in denial. So, yeah, this person don't think that somebody knows some stuff, but they do. Whoever this uh, toxic masculine energy is. Why is this toxic masculine here? Yeah, the love triangle card, the entanglement card, but this is also the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. So there goes that activation. So something could be activating within this person. Or somebody could have just tried, you know, to, to help this person, you know, to, to open up or wake up or, you know what I'm saying, to to see, you know, life from the lighter side, not the darker side or whatever the situation is. Um, but this person definitely could be in some type of entanglement or this person could be in some type of third party or, or whoever this is, they put somebody in entanglement or a third party for sure. Mm hmm. Whoever this is, they've lost a lot of money to alcohol and drugs or they're just not making no money with, uh, yeah, stacks on stacks on stacks in the reverse. Yeah. This person is taking some type of financial loss. Mm -mm. Wow. This person also could have, yeah, tried to cause somebody else some type of financial loss. That could be another reason why they're running scared. Ready or not. I just heard come to Jesus moment. So I feel like whoever this person is, they're possibly, yeah, uh, get ready to have a come to Jesus moment. So this could be, yeah, somebody that could be surrendering. Mm -hmm. But this person definitely was misinformed. Or people or this person misinformed somebody. That's another reason why they weren't running scared or misinformed people in general. It slid out. I'm going to put it back. Why is this ready or not here? But it's also too, yeah, people were misinformed as far as like, yeah. So this person, yeah, they could have been misinformed that somebody didn't drink alcohol or do drugs or something like that. Mm-hmm. We have loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Wow. I feel like whoever this person is, yeah, they they a dog. They straight dog somebody out or something like that. But somebody was loyal. 
to this person. Yeah, somebody gave this person, you know, an inch. And, and this person, yeah, they took a whole yard or they could have took, yeah, a whole nine yards or something like that. I feel like whoever this person is, they did too much. They did too much when they were in whoever's trusting them with this message's life. They've done too much in other people's lives. Yeah. That's another a, a big reason why they're running scared because, yeah, they, they done messed over some people is what I'm feeling like. So somebody needs to use caution because I feel like whoever this person is, they done got themselves involved in some stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever this person is, yeah. Salivating. I feel like whoever this person is, they they possibly, yeah, they did some strange things for some change to get some alcohol and drugs is what I'm picking up. It's kind of giving me like, yeah, y'all see how this dog has their, their tongue out? It's like, yeah, their tongue will be out, you know, and, and their little pink thing will be out is what I'm giving, what, what's, what it's giving. So it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, they, they, yeah, they, they need some help. Mm-hmm. This person is, yeah, they're trying to run toward, run, uh, towards somebody or, or trying to figure out how to communicate with somebody. But I feel like the, yeah, somebody was loyal to this person. And so, yeah, whoever it is that was loyal to this person, there could have been multiple people, but whoever, you know, this message is for was loyal to this person. And I feel like the, yeah, they, they took a whole yard or they took a whole nine yards of somebody's loyalty or somebody's trust or yeah. So yeah, somebody already doesn't trust this person. This person is in denial, but they're also, yeah, trying to deny some stuff that they have done, but at the same time, they're running scared. Whoever this person is, they need help, for sure. Mm -hmm. This person is, is receiving, yeah, bad karma, bad luck. And something about a karmic family. So this person, yeah, they possibly are there. Yeah, they possibly were um, in denial about their family being just as toxic as them or something like that. I feel like whoever this, yeah, so their th third eye could have been blocked or, you know what I'm saying, their intuition blocked. But this person, yeah, could be activating now. But I feel like whoever this person is, they possibly still are on alcohol and drugs. Maybe they want to get off alcohol and drugs and maybe... They feel like that whoever, you know, this message is for, you're the only one that they can go to, you know, to get off the alcohol and drugs or something like that. Alcohol and drugs. Yeah. This is the Ancestors card. It slipped out. I'm going to put it back. Uh, somebody could have the Chinese Zodiac sign of a dog. Somebody's uh, first minute or last name could start with a T, a D, or an E. Somebody's name could be Ted or Teddy. So yeah, somebody's ancestors are loyal. Somebody's loyal to their ancestors. So yeah, some so yeah, somebody's ancestors, yeah, are ready for whatever. Mm-hmm. Wow. But it's also too, yeah. Whoever this is, I feel like that they were supposed to break some type of generational curse that they refused to break or something like that is also what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. but whoever this person is, yeah, they can no longer duck some stuff. This could be they can no longer duck, you know, um, the fact that they have problem, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to alcohol and drugs. They can no longer duck the fact that they've been in denial for years about their life or about those around them. They can no longer duck the fact that they really are running scared from some stuff that they possibly did from the past. But I feel like whatever is taking place, this person can no longer duck it. Point blank in a sense and sense and period. Mm -mm. Yeah, the past is catching up to somebody. Whoever this person is, but I'm also picking up too. It's kind of like, yeah, all the alcohol and the drugs is taking a toll. It's catching up, you know, to this person as well. They definitely, yeah, could live outside. It's something about, yeah, whoever this person is, they know that somebody's grass is greener. 
than anybody's that they've ran into or, you know, other family members or, you know, whoever this person is. Other friends. Why is this denial here? Yeah, this person knows that somebody's going to be disappointed. So they done did something. Give me one for the denial. Yeah. We got the surprise card. So I feel like that whoever this person is, they're surprised about uh, some stuff that uh, about their past coming back to bite them. But it's kind of too, yeah, they're surprised that somebody is a sitting, isn't a sitting duck. So somebody, yeah, so it's kind of giving me like waiting as well. I feel like whoever this person is, they definitely, uh, yeah, they were in denial. I feel like that they're no longer in denial because they, they possibly know some stuff now. It could be that somebody, yeah, then got into a new relationship or, you know, that somebody done, you know, got a new friend or a new best friend or, you know what I mean? Uh, it's something that this person knows now. And that's why they're surprised. So somebody, yeah, wasn't waiting for him or somebody, you know, and then on top of that, it was kind of like if people were saying that somebody was trying to duck this person, nobody ain't ducking this person. It's something about, yeah, somebody. So with that being said, I feel like that there could have been people that that or this person was doing stuff to, to possibly try to put somebody in fear. Because that's why somebody's ancestors came out. Yeah, somebody has loyal ancestors. So, yeah, somebody is heavily protected out here. So, it's kind of like, yeah, if if people thought that somebody was running scared from some stuff or some people. Yeah, somebody's not running scared. Somebody's not ducking people. So, I don't know if people were making threats. You know what I'm saying? Behind somebody's back or, you know, it could be, yeah, some type of post, you know, that somebody, you know, uh, posted, you know, uh, it could have been, yeah, I just heard subliminal. So it could could have been subliminal. Either way it goes. Yeah. I feel like that. Um, uh, somebody ain't ducking nobody. Somebody ain't ducking. Yeah. Somebody's living their best life. Ain't going back and forth with nobody. Mm hmm. Yeah. Why is this running scared here? But at the same time, yeah, whoever this is, they're running scared. So if this person, um, if this person, uh, you know, was a part of trying to, yeah, instill some type of fear in somebody, yeah, now they're scared. Mm hmm. It's kind of like now somebody wants to be loyal to somebody. Mm hmm. But I feel like whoever this person is, they're disloyal. And I feel like, yeah, once somebody shows you who they are, believe them. But we have the hexagon card that came out in the reverse. So, yeah, something can't be fixed. But it's also, too, yeah, this is the hex card, the curse card. So some type of, yeah. So somebody's surprised. So the same person. So going back to, yeah, the generational curse. Somebody was supposed to break some type of generational curse that they refused to break or, you know what I'm saying, that they still, you know, are in denial about. Somebody else has broken some type of generational curse. But it's also, too, yeah, some type of curse or some type of hex that could have been put on somebody and somebody broke it or, yeah, it, 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 it backfired or it reversed. And that's another reason why somebody's running scared. Mm-hmm. Why is there no communication here? The missing piece of the puzzle card came out. Mm -mm. I feel like somebody's running scared because, uh, yeah, somebody, yeah, they done found out some information that somebody knows it's them. Whatever, whatever them or whatever this person has done, they know it's them. I feel like whoever this person is, they're coming in like shady boots. 
or they're going to try to communicate with somebody, you know, but they're a wolf in sheep clothing. But this jigsaw, yeah, do you want to play a game? So yeah, y'all know in the Saw movie, so something about, yeah, somebody seeing somebody or seeing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's surprised that somebody's not running scared from some type of hex or some type of curse. But the fact of the matter is, somebody, it's in the reverse. So this is giving me like return to sender energy. But it's also too, yeah, because somebody's not in communication with somebody, that's how something is not working as well. So somebody definitely needs to, to stay not in communication. So with that being said, it's kind of like somebody's going to try to, again, communicate with somebody or pop up on somebody. But y'all know like in the Saw movies, it's like, are you going to do the right thing? You know what I'm saying? What is the right thing to you? You know what I mean? Would it be to save yourself or save somebody else? And and the whole point of it is to save save somebody else, or save everybody else, and you can save yourself. Is what I'm picking up. Is yeah, as far as the Saw movies, you know what I mean. Saw is a is crazy a movie, but it's you know what I'm saying it because it, something happened to John and his wife. You know what I'm saying. That's how John. So somebody's name could be John. That's how John um became you know how he was um because yeah basically. Somebody broke into the clinic and his wife was pregnant. And basically the dude, for those of y'all that don't know the Saw movie, uh, especially the first one, um, there was a, a, a thief that, that tried to break into the clinic to get alcohol and I mean to get drugs because um, uh, John's wife was a nurse. And she was standing behind the door and she was pregnant like nine I think eight or nine months pregnant and so he smashed the door the thief smashed the door into John's pre into John's wife's stomach and so basically yeah the baby died and so that made John really furious and really mad to to become you know saw and basically yeah the the per the, the 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 thief they thought about helping the wife but then he ran off you know what I'm saying and so yeah basically John puts people in situations, you know, like people that have done people wrong, uh, put people in situations to see if they're going to be a selfless, a selfless being or a selfish being. So that literally could be, you know, what this person could be dealing with. You know what I mean? Like, are they going to, you know, try to do the right thing or are they going to try to save themselves or something about that already took place in the past and so yeah that could be catching up to this person so it's kind of like yeah they they possibly try to save themselves in the past or they save themselves in the past which would be a selfish thing and so yeah it's coming back to bite this person yeah karma somebody definitely could be watching the saw movie Why is this toxic mask in here with this uh, triangle? Yeah, something about, yeah, trying a new angle. So somebody, yeah, needs to be very aware because whoever this person is, yeah, whatever they have already tried, it's not working. So they're going to try a new angle. So it definitely could be to, to possibly try to be act like the third loyal. Yeah, to basically come in like a wolf in sheep clothing. Yeah, we have the page of cups. So, apology. But whoever this person is, yeah, they're childish and immature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something about, yeah, uh, whoever this person is that could be a Pisces or have Pisces in their chart. You could be a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is this could be somebody that uh, somebody has a child with, or or when it comes to uh, trying a different angle, this person could use a child, or you know what I'm saying, uh, could use yeah something from the past. I feel like yeah, whoever this person is, um, 
<laughs> yeah, they're really strategizing, planning, and plotting on some type of new angle. So somebody needs to, again, be very cautious of whoever this person is. But it's also, too, yeah, something about a missing piece of the puzzle when it comes to a child. So maybe whoever this person is, you know, they're going to try to use some, some news or some information. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they think if they tell somebody that they got a divorce and a child isn't theirs or whatever the situation is, they think it's going to make a difference. But I feel like it's not. Mm -hmm. We got Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So that's that insurance energy. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody spent a lot of money on alcohol and drugs. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody was targeting somebody with this will of fortune. The will of fortune is definitely about to turn in somebody's favor. So while this person is lurking or while they're doing all their toxic, messy shit, yeah, the will of fortune is definitely about to turn in somebody's favor. Mm-hmm. Why is this radio not here? With this loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Yeah, we got the death in the reverse. And it's something about, yeah, a child shouldn't have passed away. Or a child, yeah. Oh, yeah. So somebody wants to apologize. They basically want to, yeah, tell somebody that uh, they shouldn't have ended it with them or, you know what I'm saying? But this is somebody that, that ain't changed. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, yeah, something about people running scared um, or, or people thinking that somebody was going to run scared scared because it's yeah i feel like that there was some threats of harm that was going on um when it comes to somebody mm -hmm. but whoever this person is yeah they didn't they didn't want somebody to end something with them or it's two, it's yeah, it's somebody wants to apologize because they possibly didn't know that somebody yeah, didn't drink alcohol and drugs or something like that. Or something about, yeah, somebody not passing away from alcohol and drugs. It's all type of stuff going on. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody that, yeah, cut somebody off. But this is also too, yeah, somebody told the truth. Somebody can't duck, can no longer duck the truth. Somebody can no longer duck um somebody or some people but definitely the truth mm -hmm. somebody here wants to apologize about not ending something or not stopping something Something about, yeah, telling the truth about the past. Wow. So, somebody definitely told the truth about the past, but somebody was in denial about it. So, this could be, yeah, somebody could have told somebody the truth in the past and told somebody that they have an alcohol and drug problem. And somebody was like, yeah, don't tell me what the problems I got. Worry about your own self. And somebody was like, okay, say less. Or this could be, yeah, somebody told somebody the truth about, you know, a child or, you know, um, yeah, they could have told somebody the truth about, yeah, somebody or some people that, yeah, refused to change or whatever the situation is. Somebody definitely told the truth with this Queen of Swords. But but I feel like, yeah, somebody's already prepared for whoever this person is. So it goes back to, yeah, this person thinking that somebody don't know it's them or somebody don't see them coming. Somebody definitely sees them coming. Y'all see, uh, she got that uh, sword up. Like, yeah, come on, bring it on. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, yeah, if people thought that somebody was going to back down or if people thought that, yeah, somebody was going to run scared or if people thought that, you know, somebody wasn't going to live their best life, you know, uh, yes, yeah, somebody is, yeah, living their best life. Somebody is not running scared. Somebody is not backing down. But it's also too, yeah, 
people thought that, yeah, somebody was just putting on, like somebody was just saying that they, you know, changed or, you know, um, yeah, because somebody wants to apologize because, yeah, they basically thought that somebody didn't change. So with that being said, I feel like that, yeah, somebody or some people were running their mouth. So it goes back to, yeah, if somebody, you know, the past version of somebody, if they drunk alcohol and did drugs, yeah, um, somebody, yeah, told the truth, they don't do it. Yeah, somebody was in denial or something like that. People possibly are surprised. So somebody, yeah, could have went cold turkey. And people are surprised that somebody went cold turkey. Or, you know, it don't even have to be alcohol and drugs. It could just be whatever, you know what I'm saying, somebody uh, was doing, you know, in the, in the past. When they were the past version of themselves. Alcohol and drugs with this uh, duck in the reverse. Yeah, the moon. Scorpio energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody's hiding their feelings. Or somebody's been hiding their feelings. Or somebody, uh, yeah, they can no longer hide how they feel. Yeah, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody is in their feelings for sure. But something about the full moon. So somebody was in denial about the full moon or somebody was in denial about their feelings or something like that. But I feel like somebody needs to be aware because this is just another tactic, another way for somebody to, you know what I'm saying, snake somebody. So by the next, the next full moon, you know, whoever this toxic masculine energy is, they can communicate with somebody. But it's something about, yeah, uh, this definitely could be somebody that somebody has, has a kid with, with this page of cups and this king of cups. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody growing up and, you know, being a man, whoever this person is, they possibly are, you know, I wouldn't say because the Page of Cups came out first. So whoever this person is, they ain't changed. I ain't, I can't give them the benefit of the doubt. They haven't changed. Yeah, they just feel defeated. They're all up in their feelings and they feel defeated. Why? Because they see somebody's happy. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be a Leo or have Leo in their chart. Denial with this surprise. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Somebody's surprised about all the options, you know what I'm saying, that somebody has on the table. And this don't have to necessarily be love options, but this is just opportunities. Um, yeah. But it's also too, yeah, with the with the death in a reverse, the moon and the seven of cups. Yeah. Many, many, many spells. So whoever this person is, they possibly were in denial about some, some spells or some stuff. Yeah, they possibly are surprised because they done found out that it's real. I feel like whoever this person is, they are um yeah, they're surprised because whatever somebody said in the past they are realizing it is true. So, yeah, somebody could have told this person, like, you know, that they been doing stuff under the moons and shit. And this person possibly was like, yeah, they crazy as hell, you know. And that could have been what somebody was walking around telling people is, yeah, a divine feminine, divine masculine is crazy as hell. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody definitely is surprised about a lot of people that possibly want to marry somebody or something like that. But this four of wands, but this is eleven eleven, so you could be seeing eleven eleven on the clock a lot. But something about yeah, somebody's twin flame. Payback, six of pentacles. Somebody selling drugs out of their home. Mm -mm. Why is this running scared with this hexagon in the reverse? So yeah. Or, or selling drugs out of a church. Wow, we have the star here. So Aquarius energy. So yeah, uh, somebody is healing from some stuff. A lot of stuff. 
fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody could be running scared because somebody is healing. Yeah, I feel like a part of why, yeah, somebody is is doing okay and and is healing and things of that nature is because of, yeah, no communication. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah. Somebody definitely could have went to the doctor as well. And that could be another reason why they're running scared. Wow. Somebody, yeah, somebody is, yeah, walking in their truth, standing in their truth, being the real authentic version of them. You know what I mean? Or, is it, yeah, some, but somebody has always been the real authentic version of them. But it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, or just people in general, they possibly could have, you know, looked at somebody like, yeah, they just can't be real. You know, they're too good to be true. I feel like, yeah, there could be a lot of people that could be looking at somebody like that they're good, too good to be true. Mm -hmm. But it's, but I feel like it, it's based off of somebody's heart. You know what I mean? Wow. So, yeah, it's kind of like going back to, yeah, somebody giving somebody an inch and they took a yard or nine yards. So, yeah. Uh, a lot of people possibly have taken, yeah, somebody's kindness for weakness, but somebody has always bounced back. Somebody has always healed from it. And so, yeah, it's time for somebody to get some pay, get, get paid back or, you know what I'm saying, receive whatever it is that they basically, you know, gave out or something like that. But something about, yeah, healing from some from drugs as well or something like that. Somebody, yeah, could have taken a lot of drugs. Maybe somebody, yeah, that come to Jesus moment. So, yeah, somebody possibly took a whole lot of drugs all at once. And they're surprised, you know what I'm saying, that they possibly woke up. And, and it definitely could be scaring. So, this person, yeah, they could have tried to take themselves out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it goes back to, yeah, uh... Yeah, do, being childish and immature with this page of cups, you know, doing whatever they were doing to try to, yeah, take themselves out only to wake up and find out that, yeah, they're not, they didn't pass away with the death card in the reverse. Yeah, they was, they're all up in their feelings. They took a lot of drugs, whoever this person is, thinking that, yeah, it's, it's, it's it. Or that's literally what somebody gonna do. But I feel like if, if they've already done it, yeah, they, they, they woke up. <laughs> They woke up, and it's kind of like, yeah, people that could be around this person, they possibly thought this person was a goner, so there could be a lot of people around this person that could be surprised that this person woke up, or that this person is healing. Mm-hmm. We got a Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody is destined to be married. Uh, Aquarius, uh, Capricorn, Cusper out here as well. So, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, they could be running scared. Yes, yeah, so you want to play a game? So, it's something about, yeah, whoever this person is, um, they were involved. In some way, shape, form, or fashion. Mm -hmm. But going back to the third party or the entanglement, we got a Queen of Pentacles and then we got a Queen of Swords. So, mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, somebody definitely, that's another reason why somebody stopped communicating with somebody. And it's because, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, was trying to play two sides, you know. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody possibly could be in their Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords energy. Heavy air and earth out here. But it's something about, yeah, targeting somebody for some money as well. I feel like, yeah, somebody possibly wants to, wants to tell the truth about some stuff. It could be about, you know, some type of plan. Uh, about, yeah, the target. It's kind of too like, yeah, somebody's, yeah, trying another angle. They done tried many, many, many angles and it hasn't worked. They're possibly, yeah, trying to try another angle. You know, acting like that they want to heal with somebody and marry somebody. But whoever this, please, please. 
Yeah, somebody's trying to locate somebody or somebody's trying to figure out where somebody is with this location card at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody, somebody definitely was sending irritation energy towards somebody's way. Mm-hmm. But somebody possibly wants to apologize for that. I feel like, yeah, somebody's, somebody has, uh, yeah, they, they found the missing piece of the puzzle. Or they found, you know, who was doing all this stuff or where all this stuff derived from. And I feel like it's whoever this person is. So this could be, you know, the person, because I did see divorce papers. So this could be somebody that, yeah, somebody was with. Or this could be, yeah, whoever this message is for. You could have been married to a toxic masculine or whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. Um, but I feel like whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, I feel like, uh, yeah, this person, either they're the missing piece of the puzzle or um, they, yeah, they, they have information or some or somebody or some people have information on this person that, yeah, has basically, yeah, solved uh, the, 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 the solved, I just heard the case, so it could be a case going on. But, you know, solved it. Because I feel like, yeah, somebody was in denial about some stuff that was told to them in the past. Now they know it's, it's true. Now they know, yeah, somebody told the truth. So, so whoever this uh, Queen of Pentacles is, they could know that somebody finally knows the truth. And that could be why this person is trying to send some irritation energy somebody's way. Yep, but whoever this message is for, just know that your cup is about to overflow. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, you're, you're about to have many reasons to celebrate. Somebody's going to get married, for sure. Mm-hmm. Wow. Why is this death in reverse? So, yeah, somebody ready or not. Uh, here it comes as far as, yeah, somebody's cup about to overflow. Yeah, somebody, something's coming back times 10 on somebody in a good way. But it's also coming back times 10 on somebody in a bad way. And it definitely, yeah, has something to do with alcohol and drugs. So, yeah, karma. Mm-hmm. So, it's kind of like, yeah, if somebody was trying to take themselves out, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Like, they gonna get this karma. You you don't get to take the easy way out. So, yeah, somebody definitely could have been trying to take the easy way out. Uh-uh. 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 And so, I feel like, yeah, because this person basically woke up after they took 50 pills and drunk uh, a whole fifth of, of gin, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, the, yeah, they have, they're, they're gonna have a come to Jesus moment, or they already have. And I feel like that they're, they want to communicate with somebody. But I feel like somebody still doesn't need to trust this person. They're, yeah, somebody's neighbors and, yeah, past people uh, of somebody's life. Yeah, they're surprised about some stuff. They're surprised that somebody made it through a lot of stuff. Because, yeah, there was a lot of roadblocks and detours um, that were put in somebody's way. Yeah, we got court. So something or some stuff is coming back times 10 when it comes to uh, some type of court situation. Yeah, somebody was also in denial about some type of court situation. And I feel like, yeah, somebody's going to be surprised because, yeah, there's uh, they have a lot of a lot of evidence. But this is also could be spiritual court as well. Somebody definitely could go into court under the influence trying to hide it. You know, trying to hide the fact that they're on, you know, doing, uh, on alcohol and doing drugs. Mm-hmm. Wow.
So yeah, there's a toxic masculine, you know what I'm saying, that possibly could have a come having a come to Jesus moment. But there's also a divine masculine in the wings. Whoever this toxic masculine energy is, they could be begging and pleading a divine masculine not to communicate with somebody or something like that. Yeah, we have Capricorn. This divine masculine could be a Capricorn or have Capricorn in their chart. But we have a Queen of Pentacles out here. Why is this uh, Seven of Cups here? And it's kind of too like, yeah, somebody not communicating with somebody or some people. Um, yeah, it basically, yeah, it's, it's brought some truth and clarity or it's going to bring some truth and clarity. Yeah, somebody could have went to court in December or something about, yeah, something is going to take place by December. Yeah, something about um, people are surprised about all the stuff that took place in December or something like that. Or by December, yeah, somebody's cup is about to overflow. But people are su surprised that, yeah, how somebody has made it through, you know, a hell of a life is what I'm picking up. Somebody could have made it through some type of violent crime. Somebody could be healing from some type of violent crime. Wow, the star here. Mm-hmm. There definitely could be an Aquarius that could be avoiding somebody. Or or Aquarius Capricorn Cusper could be avoiding somebody. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we got need a favor at the bottom of the deck. So, that's exactly why, yeah, that uh, Be Cautious card was there. Because, yes, I knew somebody, I knew somebody, um, yeah, couldn't be trusted. Yep. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be trying to reach somebody, but they can't. So, with that being said, ready or not, somebody possibly is going to pop up to somebody's door. But somebody needs to know that their guardian angels definitely are protecting them. But, yeah, somebody somebody definitely, yeah, could go up in court acting irrational. But whoever pops up at somebody's door, they could be acting irrational. Whatever somebody was doing, you know what I'm saying, whether it be a curse or a hex or, you know what I'm saying, gossiping or, you know, whatever they were doing. I feel like that, yeah, they have some type of vendetta with somebody. And I feel like, yeah, they're now they're running scared or something like that. Because, yeah, their vendetta could have backfired. Somebody's healing, you know. And so, yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody possibly is going to try to send somebody a text message. Or they're going to try to use somebody to send a text message. Um, and it's something about, yeah, somebody wanting to, somebody to ask somebody to, to let it go. Mm-hmm. And what they're trying to get somebody to let go is the fact that they, um, committed forgery. Mm-mm. Wow. Yeah, whoever is involved is falling off one by one, one by one, one by one. Mm -mm. Wow. Somebody, yeah, possibly wants to apologize for putting somebody in a third party or for trying to put somebody in a third party. Yeah, some type of violent crime definitely could take place. If somebody committed a violent crime in the past, it's coming back on them times 10. Somebody definitely, yeah, could commit some type of violent crime while they're on alcohol and drugs. And they no longer can duck the courts or they can no longer duck some type of charge. 
Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, somebody's surprised as well because they didn't think that words have power. But they're possibly seeing that, yeah, words have power or something like that. But somebody that already, yeah, proved to somebody that, yeah, they're disloyal. They can't be trusted, you know. Uh, they chose their side and they didn't stay their ass. Yeah, this is somebody that caused some roadblocks and detours. But it's also, too, um, whatever whatever somebody or some people did in the past, plus whatever they've done in the, the present, yeah, they basically, yeah, created roadblocks and detours for themselves. On top of, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, yeah, whoever this message is for, whatever these people have done, um, to whoever's resonating with this message, you know, that, that ties in to, you know, uh, the, the stuff coming back on them times 10. And it's something about, yeah, some type of violent crime where somebody didn't pass away. So somebody possibly is able, you know what I'm saying, to speak up or able to speak for themselves or something like that. I'm also picking up like premeditation as well. So yeah, somebody, yeah, there was some type of premeditation when it came to, you know, harming somebody mm -mm. last December here somebody's first mother or last name could start with an S give me another one for uh, December wow we got a false contract so somebody could have put somebody in a false contract. This could be literally a false marriage. Wow. So that's another reason why uh, somebody or some people are running scared. Wow. And yeah, and they try to hide it. So that's where this uh, the moon is. I mean, that's why the moon is out here as well. Mm -mm. There's a whole lot of evidence on, on somebody or some people. Yeah, I feel like stuff is, is stacked so high that it's about to fall over when it comes to these people. But they chose to, you know what I'm saying, do all this stuff. They chose to, you know, have a vendetta. Why well, is avoiding you here? Yeah, the tables have turned in some way, shape, form, or fashion um, on somebody or some people. So if somebody put somebody in a false contract, somebody possibly, yeah, got out of it or, you know, did some type of um, cut courting ceremony, cut courting, cord cutting ceremony or something like that, um, only to, yeah, for this person, this whoever this is to be put in some type of false contract but i really feel like yeah somebody is going to find out that they're they're in some type of false contract they're possibly not in it anymore because the courts have found out about it that's what i'm picking up but yeah i feel like somebody's going to be pissed off to find out that yeah somebody definitely could have put them in some type of false contract some type of false marriage avoiding you but that's another reason why yeah somebody's running scared yeah, and, and none of this stuff can be fixed. So, yeah, like somebody forging, you know, committing forgery against somebody, that can be fixed. If somebody put, but, I mean, it can be fixed, but the courts have to fix it. So, if, like, yeah, somebody put somebody in a false marriage, false contract, yeah, the courts have to fix it. There's a, not a human that can fix it. Somebody needs to remain focused on themselves. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody needs to remain focused on themselves. I feel like it's time for some for somebody else or some people, you know what I'm saying, to decide if they're going to be selfless or selfish. Because I feel like, yeah, in the past they've been selfish. But that's what's got them here, you know what I'm saying, having vendettas and, you know what I'm saying, because of how they feel. Because they're in their emotions, in their fields, you know, um, holding grudges because they're in their emotions, in their fields. You know what I mean? Not caring about how the other person or the other people felt while they were being wronged. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whoever this is, they, they dug their grave, you know what I'm saying? So, either they can continue to dig their grave or they can try to figure out a way out. 
So whoever this is that needs a favor, they need to go ask the people that, you know, they that were helping them to um that was helping them to do whatever it is that they were doing. Well, all the stuff that they were doing, you know, past and present. Why is this avoiding you here? And I keep seeing the forceful bully. So somebody in, in this situation, yeah, was trying to forcefully bully somebody. So somebody could have gotten uh, an arrest warrant. Mm -mm. Why is this avoiding you here? Yeah. We got North Node. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel like that, yeah, whoever this message is for, you've healed, you know what I'm saying? And you're pouring into yourself. Um, but at this point, I feel like that, yeah, somebody or some people know that your third eye is open, you know what I mean? That your intuition, you know, is on. And so, yeah, that's another reason why people are avoiding. So with that being said, I feel like that, yeah, somebody possibly thought that, yeah, they were cloaked or hidden or they were hiding themselves or whatever the situation is. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So they know by now that, yeah, they can't hide. It's already, the courts already know. So evidently, yeah, a lot of people know. Whoever, you know, this message is for, you probably know that these people, you know, committed forgery against you or, you know what I'm saying, whatever they were doing behind the scenes against you. Why does this need a favor? But they were also possibly in denial about what north node south node is you know they definitely could have been in denial you know about yeah ancestors spirit guides guardian angels um yeah the father the son the holy spirit whatever the situation is but somebody don't have nowhere to go so that's why somebody uh needs a favor mm-hmm -mm. So I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to try to send somebody in. So it's either a toxic masculine, you know, that needs this favor that has nowhere to go. And so they're going to try to send in this Queen of Pentacles or it's a Queen of Pentacles that don't have nowhere to go. And they're going to try to send in a toxic masculine. Either way, these idiots should know that it's not going to work. Mm hmm. Yeah, we have downplay your emotions and behind downplay your emotions. We have false marriage. All right, so I knew I wasn't tripping. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, whoever this is that acts irrational in court, they could just blurt some stuff out in court. Or they could just blurt out everything that the courts need to know. You know what I'm saying? And that could be how the courts know everything that they uh, need to know in order to, yeah, press charges or, you know what I'm saying, lock people up or whatever the situation is. I feel like, yeah, I'm also picking up too, so going back to that Saw um, movie. So I feel like that there is a selfish person out here um, that basically, yeah, try to save themselves. And yeah, I feel like that their stuff is coming back times 10 on this person too. So it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, they're trying to hide the fact that they are, stuff is coming back times 10 on this person. Um, possibly, yeah, that's why they're trying to send somebody else in. Or yeah, th whoever this person is, they're just in denial. You know what I mean? In denial to the point to where, yeah, I, I feel like something is going to uh yeah happened to where this person yeah could have a come to jesus moment as well or this could literally just be the person that yeah is going to have a come to jesus moment mm -hmm. wow so yeah they know that you know so they know that you know you know what i'm saying it's them they know that you know 
that yeah they they committed forgery they know that you know that they possibly yeah um was threatening to harm or they know that you know about you know everything that they were doing yeah somebody or some people could have had group sex and they could have and there could have been a child to be uh conceived during the group sex or somebody don't even know uh the 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 the, the father of their child or something like that and so yeah these people possibly know that you know that as well they know that you know a lot so that would be the reason why people were trying to block somebody's third eye. Mm-hmm. They know that you know that all they that whatever they do, um, it they do it out of selfish and greed. Yeah, it's when it comes to these people, it's about the money. So with that being said, yeah, it goes back to uh, whoever this person is that still can't be trusted. Mm-hmm. Yep. So somebody definitely needs to be aware because, yeah, somebody definitely is sneaking around in their energy. And so, yeah, the spiritual alarm has been rung. So that's why somebody's ancestors and somebody's guardian angels came out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, somebody stole somebody's identity. So that's how they committed forgery. That's how they possibly put somebody in a false contract or a false marriage. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is somebody or some people that, yeah, they show conditional kindness. And so, yeah, they're about to find out what conditional kindness gets them. So, yeah, somebody needs to be aware because there definitely could be somebody uh, who thinks that they're going to marry somebody or something like that. But this is the person that's in denial with this meet me at the altar. Or somebody got married for a child or something about, yeah, with this um this entanglement, this... this uh, yeah, with this page of cups, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's giving me like, yeah, more than one person that somebody was dealing with or something like that. I don't like it. But it's also too, yeah, somebody's divine masculine or somebody's divine feminine is waiting in the wings. So yeah, it, somebody's cup is about to overflow. And it definitely includes, you know, um, a divine counterpart. Mm -hmm. There definitely is a toxic masculine uh, and possibly a toxic feminine that's blaming others for their uh, circumstances. Mm -hmm. But it's something too about, yeah, somebody, yeah, was under the influence of something when they decided to heal something with somebody and possibly marry somebody or something like that. So maybe, yeah, there's a hex or a curse that broke when it comes to this person, you know, and maybe they're realizing it, but it, I feel like it's too late. So, yeah, but there's also whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, they could be blaming others for their circumstances. Uh, whoever's resonating with this message, you could be one of them that they're blaming for their circumstances. Mm hmm. And so, yeah, whoever this is that thinks that they're going to, you know, text somebody or, you know, use somebody else's phone to, to call somebody or to pop up at somebody's house. Yeah, they pick the side and they need to stay there. Mm hmm. Somebody doesn't want to stop drinking and doing drugs. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody wants to stay toxic. But I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to try to hide it or they're going to try to act like, yeah, that they're not that toxic masculine. They're going to try to, yeah, create an illusion that they're a divine masculine or a divine feminine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but accountability doesn't cost a thing. So with that being said, whoever this person is, I feel like that they possibly can no longer, you know, duck, you know what I'm saying, the part that they played in it or something like that and everything that took place. There is some type of plan that is is in motion. So whoever, you know, this message is for, yeah, get ready, get ready, get ready. Mm -mm. Somebody definitely, yeah, could try to reach out, you know, use somebody else's phone or, you know what I'm saying, yeah, try to text somebody or somebody needs to be careful because somebody definitely could be trying to invite them somewhere. Mm hmm Wow. Why is this ready or not here? 
Yeah, somebody's definitely coming in, yapping and capping, or that's what somebody's been doing, yapping and capping. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody irrational, acting irrational, possibly in court. Mm-hmm. Yep. But something about, yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like that they, yeah, they could have a sex demon or some type of sex addiction or something like that. But while, yeah, somebody or some people were blaming other people for their circumstances, yapping and capping, you know, because capping is lying. Yeah. Whoever, you know, this message is for, yeah, you're showing your haters up. So this is somebody that, yeah, somebody definitely was talking shit about somebody, saying that, yeah, they ain't changed. They still do alcohol, drink alcohol or do drugs, or they still, you know, uh, overeat, or they, you know, overindulge in social media or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, uh, you know, had issues with, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody definitely could have saw whoever this message is for. And so people could have said that, yeah, somebody standing on the corner, you know, um, you know, high than a kite, you know, uh, in zombie mode or whatever the situation is. And somebody, yeah, definitely could see somebody you know, in in their real authentic light, you know what I'm saying, with this the star and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody focused on their, their money, you know, focused on them. Period. Somebody's already healed, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, somebody definitely could have a public outburst, so it could be in court. <laughs> wow. And well and whatever this public outburst is, whatever somebody says in the public outburst, yeah, it, it backfires on some people. And we have July. So, yeah, in this month of July. So, yeah, people are running scared as we speak. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, while these people were yapping and capping about a divine feminine, divine masculine, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine's bounce back game is strong. So, yeah, that's the energy that I was picking up as far as, like, people, yeah, um, surprised how a divine feminine, divine masculine came back. So, yeah, there's a divine masculine, divine feminine that definitely could have been heavy on drugs and alcohol, but not anymore. And somebody's yeah, looking is looking real and beautiful as hell, or real and handsome as hell. So yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, there could be somebody or some people that could be looking at a divine feminine or a divine masculine like a spiritual jackpot. But we did see that uh, ten of pentacles. And so, yeah, somebody could possibly be about to receive some type of spiritual jackpot. So, yeah, that could be uh, as far as like, yeah, somebody's cup overflowing. Mm-hmm. Wow. But, yeah, at the same time, yeah, there could be a karmic that could be looking at, yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine, like a spiritual jackpot. So, be be cautious be aware i feel like that's the person that's acting like that they need a favor or something like that mm -hmm. but this is the same this karmic is the same one that yeah they was la yapping and capping this is possibly the same one that yeah um could have some type of public outburst this is somebody that yeah is all up in their feelings because again whoever this message is for divine feminine divine masculine you're showing your haters up so whatever they were yapping and capping about, yeah, it backfired. And then on top of that, yeah, here comes somebody's divine masculine or divine feminine. Here comes somebody's divine counterpart. But but we have the seven of cups here, so it's about to be multiple offers of love to come somebody's way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on top of, yeah, abundance, abundance, abundance. So, yeah, somebody definitely needs to get ready because, yeah, their cup is definitely about to overflow. And it's something about, yeah, something taking place this month. So we only have, you know, a couple of days left in this month. But I feel like, yeah, it says July out here. So something could take place in this month or something could take place, yeah, before, you know, the end of this year is also what I'm picking up. Mm -mm. We 
have a restraining order. So either somebody needs to get a restraining order or there has been some type of restraining order that has been put in place. And I feel like it's been put in place for somebody. So somebody could receive a letter in the mail that basically says that, yeah, there's a um, restraining order being put in place for their protection. Because whoever this is that has this public outburst in court, uh, <laughs> yeah. I feel like whoever this person is, they they on the verge, or they possibly yeah are about to go to somebody's mental health facility. But it's also too yeah it's it's a karmic out here, but it's a feminine energy, and it's kind and I maybe they are a lesbian or you know bisexual or whatever. This is somebody that possibly is gonna try to bring some type of offer of love somebody's way or something like that. Or they're sending in a toxic masculine to do so. So again, somebody needs to be aware. It's 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 to confuse somebody if that's the case. But I feel like, yeah, somebody already knows what's up. These people could have possibly already tried to do it multiple times. Yeah, because whoever these people are, yeah, they're sneaking around your energy. So yeah, the spiritual alarm has been rung. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I just saw signed, sealed, and delivered. So something has been signed, sealed, and delivered. So again, it could be, you know, the, the letter about the restraining order. It could be, you know, um, some type of information about uh some type of abundance mm-hmm you could be seeing the angel number four two four uh somebody's being asked to focus their mind on manifesting their desires but I feel like somebody has been doing that that's why yeah uh whatever people were doing it it really didn't affect somebody I feel like somebody's very focused and yeah these people know that somebody's focused. These people also know that, yeah, they know you know. <laughs> they know you know. But yeah, these people definitely, yeah, they've been sending false lovers uh, towards somebody's way. So somebody needs to uh, be aware. We have a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius. So yeah, heavy Aquarius energy. But it definitely, yeah, it definitely could have backfired. And so now there's a real love offer that's coming somebody's way. Yeah. So whoever this is that that wants to ask for some type of favor or something like that, yeah, they're they're in denial or they're gonna yeah they're gonna act like that it's not that big of a deal what they were doing, you know, committing the forgery or you know that it goes back to yeah somebody just thinking it's as simple as letting it go, but it done already got to the courts. Somebody should know that because they had an outburst in court or they're going to. I mean, we have July out here, so if they haven't already been to court, they're going. Um, but yeah, it is it is a big deal what they were doing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if somebody was trying to cause somebody to have some type of public outburst. Yeah, that backfired. Yep. Somebody yeah, is a master of storytelling. And so yeah. Somebody is a master at being a liar. And so, yeah, somebody's lies, yeah, basically backfired on them. So it's kind of like, yeah, people know, you know, who is who is the, the mastermind or people know, you know what I'm saying? Who is the key player or people know, yeah, who's responsible for all the drama. Pretty much at this point. And yeah, they know that you know who's responsible for. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, some stuff, some information that was told to somebody or some people in the past. And they basically were in denial about it. But they're realizing that, yeah, somebody told the truth. Yep. And so, while people's lives backfired and things of that nature, yeah. 
I feel like somebody's going to try to come in, you know, uh, try or, you know, try to communicate, not really come in, either communicate, try to pop up or something. But I really feel like that somebody don't have the balls to pop up. So they're possibly going to use somebody else. Either way it goes, you don't need them. They need you. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody's going to try to use every excuse as why somebody should heal with them and marry them. But it's not meant to be. Whoever this person is, they're toxic. Whether they're a toxic masculine or a toxic feminine energy. Yep. So somebody, yeah, is going to try to, going back to, yeah, somebody acting like it's not a big deal. Trying to use selectful forgetfulness, selective forgetfulness about the past. Mm-hmm. So somebody, yeah, somebody or some people are going to act like that. They don't remember what they did in the past. They don't remember, you know, um, when they, you know, try to threaten to harm somebody. They don't remember when they committed forgery. They don't remember when they put somebody in a false marriage or whatever the situation is. If somebody had like a phone call with somebody in the past, yeah. This is somebody that's going to act like that they don't remember that phone call or something like that. Somebody definitely needs to handle this situation with uh, with divine class. There is somebody that's having money problems. But this is the same person that was yapping and capping. This is somebody that possibly was trying to cause somebody money problems. So I feel like whoever this person is, they hollering about that they need a favor. Um, But I feel like, the, yeah, they need more than one favor. That they aren't going to get from, yeah, whoever this message is for. Yeah, because whoever this person is or whoever these people are, the, yeah, they use uh, your name to get money fraudulently. So it goes back to, yeah, committing forgery and, yeah, all that good stuff. So, yeah, bad behavior brings bad results. And so that's exactly what's going on. And so it goes back to, yeah, people trying to get somebody to let it go and then turn around and ask somebody, well, basically, that would be the favor. Do me a favor and let it go. But the fact of the matter is, it's not that simple. And, 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 and yeah, people trying to act like it's not a big deal. It really is. Somebody could be 25 to 40 years old. People could also be running scared because maybe they know that the stuff that they were doing, somebody could file a lawsuit against them. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody could file a lawsuit against somebody or because we did see the courts. So the courts could be filing a lawsuit on somebody's behalf. And so, yeah, with that signed, sealed and delivered card that I saw, yeah, somebody could basically receive some information about that as well. Mm -mm. Wow. Anything else, Holy Spirit? But it's also, too, yeah, somebody um, could also be trying to ask somebody, you know what I'm saying, to help them to sue somebody else is also what I'm picking up. But it's something about, yeah, somebody being the last one to find out. And it definitely could be about a lawsuit. But it's also too, yeah, there could be uh, somebody um, that could be the last to find out all this stuff that took place against somebody. Why is this last to find out here? So there could be a divine masculine that could be the last one to find out, you know, that all this stuff was happening to a divine feminine or a divine masculine. We do got a toxic masculine out here and I'm picking up on a toxic feminine energy out here. Yeah, but somebody's family knows everything. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody could be a Cancer Gemini Cusper. Yeah, so we have August here. So by August, something could definitely take place. July, August, so yeah. 
Mm-mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Somebody, uh, somebody allows fear to dictate their decisions. I feel like that that's literally what people were trying to do and still fear in somebody else so that they would, so that people could dictate somebody's decisions. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be near or far, you know? So it's kind of like, yeah, people wanted somebody to be scared. So, so that they would only make decisions, you know, that would keep them. Yeah. Like trying to stop somebody from getting outside of their comfort zone or, you know what I'm saying? Trying to stop somebody from, yeah possibly being able to sue somebody or you know what I'm saying finding some stuff out but yeah it, it didn't work somebody knows and these people know that somebody knows somebody is outside of their comfort zone you know what I'm saying somebody is free to move around as they please inside their comfort zone outside of their comfort zone so yeah there definitely were people that were steered in the wrong direction People could have been steered in the wrong direction for the last 15 years. But there could be some type of lawsuit from something that took place 15 years ago. There was a detective that was steered in the wrong direction. There could be a detective that uh, somebody could sue. Or something about, yeah, a detective could be supporting somebody in a lawsuit. Wow. Yep. So whoever this message is for, open up because here comes the blessings. Yeah, because whatever these people, the plan, the cruel plan that these people had, yeah, it failed. Either there's a detective that's on somebody's side or there's a detective that, yeah, they're, they're not on somebody's side. Wow. Or there could be a detective, you know, that they wanted to be corrupt, you know, yeah, for the love of money. And maybe the detective saw that, you know what I'm saying, it was too much. Or a detective saw, you know, where it was leading. And maybe a detective got out at the, you know what I'm saying, the right time, the right moment. I don't know. But somebody definitely could be a Cancer Gemini Cusper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And for the love of money, somebody was being sabotaged and they didn't even know it. Wow. Is there anything else? Yep. There goes that threats of harm. So I was picking that energy up as well. So yeah, there were threats of harm that was, yeah, going on. But it's also too, yeah, um, the cruel plan failed. So it's somebody basically said that a divine feminine divine masculine was threatening to harm them yeah people know that somebody was yapping and capping whatever whatever um a karmic said karmic masculine karmic feminine said yeah i feel like they 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 were trying to get some people messed up but it's also the stuff that they were doing and so yeah whoever was involved yeah they definitely will be held accountable for their actions and so, yeah, whoever this message is for, regardless of what type of favors or whatever the situation is that somebody wants to ask for, yeah, don't overextend yourself because these people don't deserve it. Bad behavior brings bad results, you know. Uh, I guess these people thought that they were going to, you know, for their bad behavior was going to bring good results. So, yeah, somebody picked the side or people picked the side and, yeah, they need to stay there. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so, yeah, I feel like that uh, whoever this message is for, I feel like you're you're going to receive, you know, some information. Some, you can read, yeah, a letter, uh, you know. Um, but, yeah, your cup is about to overflow. Here comes the blessings. Yep, you've already healed, but, yeah, continue to heal. And I feel like, yeah, this, whatever is getting ready to take place, it's going to bring in more healing. But be aware because, yeah, there's definitely somebody that uh, possibly, yeah, is going to want to heal with you or going to try to marry you or something like that. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. 
uh uh you don't need you don't need them they need you you don't need these people to heal you know what I'm saying? You don't need these people. Yeah, somebody is a master of disguise. And so, again, they're going to come and try to disguise themselves. So, if they're going to send somebody. Or they're just going to try to disguise themselves. Like if they're a, a divine masculine or, or divine feminine. But they're a toxic masculine, toxic feminine. Mm hmm Mm -mm. But remember, there is a divine masculine and divine feminine that is waiting in the wings. Um, that, that, yeah, is going to bring some type of offer of love somebody's way. And again, it came out the third time. Yeah, whoever this is or these people are, yeah, they pick this, they pick the side and they need to stay there. These people are blocked. And yeah, you are being protected from the negative energy. So any negative energy that people uh, could be trying to send your way, um, yeah, you're being protected from it. It's it's being blocked out. And so yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, again, get ready, get ready, get ready, because your cup is about to overflow. Here comes the blessings, and I feel like yeah, here comes a lot of information. You know what I mean? But I feel like the yeah, the missing piece of the puzzle has been has been found, or it's yeah, people know who. You know what I'm saying? Is the cause of all, all, all the shenanigans, pretty much. So, as I always say, keep your head held high and your middle finger higher. And yeah, everything's going to work out. So, with that being said, y'all, that's been your message. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.